Hello there, this is Demon Scenes. Um, tonight or today, whatever day it is for you guys, uh, we are gonna take a look at this white box. Uh, I found this white box in my closet, so uh, I kind of pulled it out and we're gonna take a look at it. Yeah, yeah, now when that is said and done, we are gonna take ourselves an overview what we have. Uh, it has a CD-ROM and a floppy drive. And some kind of screws to just hold it together so it won't fall apart yet. So that button there is to keep it on and off. There we go. We have a user port so we can insert a cartridge. And we have a MIDI out, MIDI in and a network connector with a reset button. So, hmm. Yeah, some of you might know what it is, but hey, 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 let's not spoil the fun yet. Just, just, just second that little, mm, that sweets for a while. So we have a connector, one there, it's a parallel connector. Actually, we have a lots of connectors that we will cover later on in this video. Uh, those two RCA connectors are for the audio. So you get the audio out from the computer. And here we have something very exciting actually. This is really cruel. Because it's a Crazy Dots graphic card. And uh, it has an RGB video out and an AUX out. Uh, but let's 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 stop this talking and just pop the lid off this thing and dive right into the hardware boom the lid is off and here we go uh, that's the CD-ROM drive and the floppy drive and the hard drive whoa and there we have um, if we zoom in here you can see that yep it's an Atari and we have the Motorola processor there it's quite something, yeah. So it's actually in 68,030 running very fast. And uh, that little board is actually uh, the TT RAM expansion board, which can hold up to 128 kilobyte megabyte of RAM, of course my lord so we have quite some memory in this beast I can tell you this is um, I'm kind of struggling here to not spoil the fun and over there we had the flight floating you see I'm just so excited the floating point unit so it has an FPU as well um, and beneath the cables there if we just rotate around there oh yeah it's a Zillag processor, of course. And there we have it. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't that beauty? Oh, mama. Yeah, that's some fancy stuff. But wait, we are not done yet. So, that's the Crazy Dot card I was talking about. It's a Zen Lab ET4000AX. Specially designed for running on the VME bus of an Atari. So, this is huge. This is crazy. Insane. You don't see those every day, I can tell you. And um, you may wonder why this white box or an Atari TT, why it's been sitting in the closet for such a long time. And my goodness, I wonder that myself. And there we have an expansion card. It's an accelerator to make things go faster for the computer, like... Um, driving the hard drives and the bus speed is faster and whoa it's just a monster thing also in this fantastic Atari TT machine or double T I don't know what do you call it uh, we're gonna continue to explore and there we have the Yep, it's from Sweden, of course. So, n not the computer, but the ROM. The TAS ROM is from Sweden. And there we have the Logic SCSI controller, by the way. So, this is a SCSI computer. Uh, or, yeah, it has a SCSI board. I chip. Um, 
Yep, we are back at where we started at, the speaker. So it has an internal speaker that you better shut off because else it's making you deaf because it has a violent sound. And there's the floppy I mentioned earlier on and the CD-ROM drive. Nothing fancy about that. It contains a laser, so whoa, just look into the hole and you will get blind. Anyhow, mm, I'm just gonna screw this thing together and we are gonna take a look what we can do with this thing so welcome back to this boot section of monitor number one um, here is uh, actually what it looks like if you don't have a secondary monitor and uh, it's just loading up here the drivers for the two hard drives the Seagate and the quantum drive and uh, now it's loading the magic toss or the magic screen actually and it detects the ET4000 card setting for a good resolution and it loads a bunch of drivers to make this monster machine go even faster everything is working fine so we are just gonna hop on and see what monitor number two looks like when it's loading So, we are looking at the monitor too. Uh, it's kind of black at the moment because it's waiting for Mr. Graphic Card ET 4000 AX to initialize the drivers and everything. So it will kind of knock on the door to tell the computer that, or the monitor, that we have some kind of signal. Uh, meanwhile, we are waiting. We can just make some coffee but I think it should be done pretty soon actually so we just sit and wait for a while whoa rainbow colors it means that the card has been detected and the drivers are loaded and the genie desktop is loaded into the memory and uh, this is a, a very high, whoa, very high resolution, I can say. And since it's uh, 50 hertz at the moment, uh, it's kind of looking a little bit chopped in the corners. And um, we are gonna take a look at the control panel here in just a second. So see you soon. Boom! There we go. The control panel has been loaded, and what, what you what you're seeing here is basically um, the general parts you need to see about uh, you need to know about the system. Here, for instance, you can see how much free RAM we have in the computer, ST and TT RAM, and woohoo, you can see that it's plenty. So this is this isn't just one of those computer you find. You know, this is this is the this is the deal. <laughs> Hence, why I'm really excited. I mean, I'm shaking here, guys. Come on, I, I, it's like I've been drinking 16 cups of coffee. Well, I usually do that, but today I'm whoa, it's crazy. So I, I'm just clicking around here, going madness here. But um, w we we are gonna take one last look. Something you guys will will really like I think at least I'm loving it so um, um, I'm gonna stop click here and just move on to my next system information so we are back at the sys info screen uh, here you can read a lot of things a bunch of information what kind of CPU and that we have a floating point unit inside of it and it's running at uh, 32 megahertz which is really fast Whoa, that, that, that's kind of juicy speed for an Atari. Um, yeah, you can see that we have tons of information here, and I'm not really sure what this is all about, but uh, as we are going along here, I can probably explore and uh, tell you guys a little bit more about what all the chips you saw and um, boards and everything, wh what they are really doing, because I like to explore and share my knowledge with people it's really fun because um, I think that an Atari TT isn't really something you find 
in your home, so to speak. Yeah. <coughs> and um, yeah, it's hard to keep the voice in control because I'm really excited and I also have a little nagging cold going on. So yeah, anyhow, I'm still fresh enough uh, to make something. But uh, in the future, I've been thinking about to make some more tutorials uh, or just talking or whatever about this computer. So um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this and as always leave comments, feedback, whatever. Give me some shout outs if you want to see something particular. I mean come on I'm an open-minded guy so y you just you just decide what you want to see. Um, yeah I don't really know what more to say at the moment. So um, uh, I'll will see you in another one <laughs> in the future, I think. So anyhow, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and keep the spirit alive. You know, eight bit is still enough.